hello and welcome to swift tutorials in today's video we are going to learn about user defaults and using user default we will create the auto login feature in ios app so let's start create a new xcode project i already created a single view application template if you haven't done this just create your single view application template and name it as auto login swift fault so yeah i already created this so now for this we will create a interface where we create a, a screen for login and a landing screen when where the user will be navigated once the he once he is authenticated successfully so let's create and here i had a view controller screen because we have created the single view application template and we need the navigation so we will use ui navigation controller here navigation controller drag it to your main dot storyboard and here it's already created a root view controller we delete it and here navigation controller scene and here in triggered segues you can find the second property name root view controller connect to your view controller and so this is the root view controller also here we need to make initial view controller so here and show navigation war we will uncheck it and here you can see that our view controller scene is created so here in view controller dot scene we will create the login page so change the background color and here first drag a ui label here we will place it and here we will say leading 20 trailing 20 and height will be 100 and here we will say user defaults tutorial and here so make it center change the font to heavy and we will change yeah and we will make it zero because in smaller devices it will make multi-line now, now drag a ui text field for our username and here we will Create it and place it to 60 pixels from user default label. 20 is the leading constant, 20 is the trailing, and height will be 50. And similarly, we will drag one more text field for password. And here we will set it top from the username field 20 pixel, leading will be 20, trailing will be 20, and height it's got 20 and here we will set it 50 okay now drag a ui button so the, for login and here we will say login set it height 40 from the password text field 20 leading 20 trailing and height will be 60 and add four constants so now here we will change the text to login um, and we will change the text color to white and the background color will be this and here make the font a little bigger and here we will say it's a bold and we will make it here it is login so here we will set the placeholders that is username and here password and make it as a secure text entry so here we are done with the design of our login screen now just connect the ib outlets here uh, we get ui navigation controller and UI view controller or view controller screen and here we will select the user name text field here and we will create a IB outlet new referencing outlet and and here we get txt user name and here for password we will create a txt 
password IV outlet txt password and for button we will create a IV action touch up inside is the event and here we will create authenticate user and here so you can see this is created so now we need to create one more screen that is a home screen where user will navigate it once he will be authenticated successfully so click on file new file and here cocoa touch class and uiv controller subclass and we will name it as home vc and create so here created open up main dot storyboard so that we can design its ui2 and here select ui view controller and here select view controller dot scene go to here change the class to home vc and copy it and set it the story word id so that we can access it while navigating so we will create the ui here we will change the background color to yellow and let's drag a label and here we can see 20 and we'll say 100 and 20 trailing and here we will say welcome and also we'll create a button for logout ui button goes here and we'll set it to 15 pixel and 20 here and change it to log out so here you can see log out so we are done with the, our interface now if at this moment let's run our app and how it's look let's see oh one more thing we forgot we forgot to connect IB action to our logout button and here select home bc is there and here we go to the inspector and here we say touch up inside and here we say logout user so here now we are done so here we are done with our design and now let's run the app So here you can see the login screen appears and here let's enter the name T E S T I will set it and T E S T and it will not do anything because we haven't done authentication we didn't write any code so here we will check if txt username dot text is equals to test and txt password dot text is equals to test then user is authenticated and you say navigate to home screen so here we will navigate now let's find the code let home vc is equals to self dot storyboard dot initiate view controller identifier with and here we will say will be a home PC and we set it the identifier home PC have one more equal to so here you can see in main dot storyboard we set the identifier to storyboard ID home PC and here we are detecting it using the same here we say home bc so here and here we'll say self dot navigation controller dot push view controller home bc animated true and let's run it again so build is succeeded 
app is installing and it's now running on iPhone 10 simulator and here we have so let's type te as the test password will be test test and here we can say we navigated successfully to home BC now let's run it again and oh yes I have to log in again so nobody wants that once the user log in and he didn't press the logout button and the second time he run the app again by removing it from background and then running tap on the home screen and then the app opens and it shows the login screen and she say why when did i log out i didn't log out and still it's showing the login screen so it's very important feature for the apps to save the login of the user and for this we have to we will take advantage of user default and here we will say user default dot standard dot set so here you can see different methods set url for keys set value for keys set value bool for keys set value double set float set in so here you can save any kind of thing in user default it's kind of database that store values as per the keys and it's not a purely a database because you can't create tables and other stuffs so you you just save the values for a particular key and then access that value using a key and one th more thing you can't save nil objects so you, uh, you if you are saving a dictionary or something key value pairs object and if your one value is null inside of key value pair then it will crash so here since we need the auto login feature we will save set value bool we will create true and here we will specify the key is user logged in okay now here we set the key now what we will do we will in view did load because this is the, the first screen that launches when our app launched so here we will say user defaults dot standard dot bool now here we are accessing in uh, this method we are setting so that's why we use set and here we need to assess and here it has different methods so we bool for key data for key double for key float for key so we need to specify bool for key and we will copy key here and paste the user user log it is equals to equals to true so here we are saying the system that if this key is true then user is already logged in just navigate him to home screen so here we will navigate to home screen and just copy this paste you can create a function for this too but i'm just already writing the code and here one thing more you need to notice that this animation we will set it to false if we set it to true then what happens it takes about one or two seconds so whenever you, your app launch it shows the login screen and then move to the home screen animatedly so it's it's a bad impression so we need to set false so that whenever the app launch it appears to user that he automatically landed to the home screen so here let's see now let's see if our auto login feature works And here we type test test and we logged into home screen and welcoming page. So now let's rerun the app. Let's rerun and it's running. So here and here the login screen is bypassed and we appeared or we directly land to home screen so this is that our auto login works successfully so in this way we use auto login features so now one more thing when I press logout I will navigate it back to the login screen so here in home BC what we do we have created the function logout and here we will say 
self dot navigation controller dot pop to root view controller true because our login screen is our root view controller so we use the method pop to root view controller now here in login logout feed logout function we also need to set user default dot standard dot set bool false that we are not keeping the user logged in and here we say just copy the key here we set in view controller is user login to false that user is no more logged in to our system or our app and here we say this and here so here now let's run the app so here we are automatically landed to our home screen and bypassed our login screen now we i tap log out and it logs out to me out of the app and i am just off we are and on the login screen or off app and now let's run it again now this time i will click it and we run it again So here you can see user default tutorials and the login screen appears so now let's app again one more time test test and logged in so here welcome screen appears now let's again kill this app somewhere and here the welcome screen so here in this video you learn about the auto login and how to create a auto login feature in ios app and to create that feature we will we, we used user defaults and you also learned about user defaults what are they and how they work so if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and do share this video and please subscribe to our channel so that you can get future updates for our future video please thanks for time and thanks for watching this video stay tuned for for, for more video tutorials on ios app using swift 4 and have a great day and great time ahead thanks for watching bye for now